Ever pondered about the true heritage of the last active ruler of Egypt, Cleopatra? Was she purely of Greek ancestry? Or did she have Egyptian blood running through her veins? The labyrinth of Cleopatra's lineage traces back to her forebear, Ptolemy, a Macedonian general who seized Egypt in the wake of Alexander the Great's death. A span of 250 years and 12 generations then ensued before Cleopatra's birth, a period rife with its quota of romantic liaisons and covert rendezvous. But the plot thickens when you consider the rich tapestry of ethnicities that made up Egypt, given its position on the map. This naturally included Africans, so it's plausible that Cleopatra's Greek lineage got mingled with other ethnicities over time. So, the question remains, was Cleopatra purely Macedonian Greek, or was she part Egyptian? The mystery of Cleopatra's heritage is a puzzle that has been pieced together by historians over centuries. The picture that emerges is one of mingling bloodlines and complex genealogies, a testament to the turbulent times in which she lived. It's quite plausible that Cleopatra was of pure Macedonian Greek descent, tracing her lineage back to the renowned Macedonian general Ptolemy, who claimed Egypt in the aftermath of Alexander the Great's death. Yet with each passing generation, this Greek heritage may have been interwoven with other ethnicities, given Egypt's rich cultural melting pot. It's probable that Cleopatra had some Egyptian blood coursing through her veins, though the exact proportion remains shrouded in the mists of time. It certainly wouldn't have been more than half, and probably even less. The most compelling evidence suggests a ratio of three-quarters Macedonian Greek to one-quarter Egyptian. In the end, Cleopatra's heritage, like her life, remains a fascinating blend of history and mystery, forever captivating the minds of those who delve into her story.